YouTube. How's it going? So I just want to go over this right quickly. So at a rally uh, earlier, um, there was naked men here. You can see I have it pretty blurred out for the most part. Uh, it's pretty censored. Um, but there was some men at the pride parade that were showing their naked bodies. And this, there is some women in this. But as we can see, we continue on. I try to freeze frame as much as can. You can see there's some naked people there. And that's all I'm going to give you. So <laughs> there's a lot of, there were the naked people at this rally. All that stuff was censored. You can't see the breast or anything. But these people were naked at a rally. A rally full of children. Let's see if I can get less of a, uh, um, less naked. One second. Okay. Everything's pretty well censored here, except for the butt cheeks. This will be 18 plus. This is gonna get restricted. Nothing I can do about that. But um, everything else is censored, so no nudity or anything like that. You can only see the side. So we'll see. Pretty much what happened here, man, that these people were at this pride rally and these were naked bicyclers. And you can see kids here in the background, and I'm not gonna show those kids because it's not necessary. But indeed, if you look at the back of this thing, you can see somebody saying leather pride. Wow. Leather pride pride so this is uh and i can actually show you the video of these people here in a second um these proper rays are absolutely getting out of control man why do you think this is acceptable and we're going to read an article on this in another video but y'all obviously if you're watching this live you'll see it all together at once we're going to read about why people think it's okay to have kinks and why it's okay to have fetishes in front of children somebody actually defends this and said that it's okay to have this kind of stuff in front of children and we're um I just don't get it, man. And people, and where I'm starting to come with this is people are trying to say, you know, um, <laughs> that kids need, need to see this and they need to know that they can be whoever they want to be. No, no, no. And I'm so surprised that these proper rates allow naked, fully naked people, balls hanging, penis hanging, breasts hanging, uh, vagina showing booty showing and they think it's perfectly okay to do this to children when are we going to stand up and start making some kind of okay that just can't happen there are people standing up but look how many people were at that proper rate if you go back to the picture you can see a crowd of people in this one city saying yes like what are we celebrating or what i like i am thoroughly now confused at what is actually being celebrated because to me naked people have nothing to do with being gay being, dressing up in a kink and leather and BDSM has nothing to do with necessarily being gay. Those are all fetishes and kinks. Is that what Pride Parade is about? Is it about, is it about the LGBT or is it about sexual fetishes and kinks? That's what I'm trying to understand. Because if it's about sexual fetishes and kinks, then it's absolutely not appropriate for children. Absolutely. And then if it's just about sexuality, it's still not good for children. But, to, if, it, but if it's mainly about kinks and fetishes there's no way you could even start to justify that i like i can't even hear a good argument like we should be able to get naked in front of children like at what point does the line stop then because what if you want to do this i'm just being honest what if you want to be like you know what i want to be naked in front of children how can i do this oh i'll just say it's a pride something because this is yeah this is pride month but there will come a day where you you know you'll have like a couple days in a week and you'll be like hey today is pr today is Today is sorry. Today is National Naked Day for people who uh, feel like they should be able to be naked and take pride in that. And then, bam, people just go to a whole parade booty naked with kids next to them, and those kids are naked. Don't even... What? I know you're thinking that ain't going to happen. Watch. If we don't continue to stand up for this stuff, and we are starting to stand up for this stuff, but you understand, y'all think this battle is over because we got to Bud Light. You think the battle's over because we got to Target. You think the battle's over because we got to Starbucks. This battle is not even close to over because they will keep coming in full force. I think the people are starting to rise, but we have to continue to stay on top of this because if we do not, they will continue to come after our children day after day. I don't even think being naked at a parade is good for adults, but that's a whole different conversation about sex and a whole different conversation about uh, what should be in the bedroom and what should not be in the bedroom. And, we, and the hard thing that I will say this, 
the hard thing is that if we allow adults to do this, how are we supposed to keep the kids out of it? If they want to be naked at something, make it private. Like, make it to where you ain't in the middle of the streets where people live. You know, you want to go to a private building, a building where it's closed off to the community. Nobody can see inside. Nobody can see outside. Everybody's in an area where it's confined. That's one thing. But these, this is an actual street. It's not closed off. It's closed off to the parade. It's not closed off to people. So those are actual kids in the community seeing naked people walk the streets. And we're supposed to say, wow, yeah, that's just that's just the everyday, normal day thing. That's just the everyday, normal day thing, man. All right, hold on. So I want to show you that um, that leather parade in the back. So give me one second. Because that is what we're about to... That was also part of this uh, parade. Mm-hmm. <laughs> gotta forgive me then there's so much stuff you have to uh there's so much stuff to go through these these parades are absolutely insane at this point it's like oh my gosh so i can't show y'all this i can't show y'all this but i will um let me see let me push it down y'all guys have to go see this for yourselves um but here it is, okay? Go back into our thing. So remember when I was talking about the uh, gay thing? So let's move it up. So I can see it, but you guys can't. I'll give y'all that much, okay? So right here it says, NYC, hundreds of naked adults are dancing around in front of children. So if I was to see, let me see if you can see anything. Uh, you can't. So if you look right here, right here in the back, you can see a little girl in pink dancing around and all of these people now i'm not showing you guys anything because this person's arm is in the way and these people are turned around and this is blocked out blurred out a little bit these people are this is just the nice part of it this is this doesn't look as bad as it does but all of these people if you continue in this video they are all naked like if you continue on there's women with their breasts dancing around and you can see children in the background you can see another child right there you would have to zoom in but she's right here in this, this area wearing green in the background and there's other angles of this same thing happening of another little kid who's running to her mother like what the what are we doing when is and, and you know what's so frustrating with this whole thing if they say that there's no grooming going on they say there's no grooming going on that's just flat out lie I'm so thankful for the gays and gays groomers for doing this kind of stuff. And, and the wokeness, Ian, um, Ian, Candace, Matt, all these people who come out and start talking about this. I'm so glad that they see this stuff because, you know, people will send this stuff to them and help them. And I'm glad they do it because we get to see it. But when y'all keep saying that it's not about grooming kids, you watch this full video. I'm watching it right now. I want y'all can hear it in the background. It is fully naked people right here i wish i could show it but let me see yeah here's another version no you can't see any breasts or anything uh let me show you again so y'all can see right here for some reason i can't fix this it won't it there we go if y'all can see this right you can see a little there but it's blurred out you see all of these people are dancing naked in front of children all of those people. Y'all see how many people are at that thing? And they keep wanting to say it's not about pedophilia. But I'm sorry. That seems, to me, it has to at least push towards that, right? I'm not saying all these people here are pedos. But what I am saying is that we are starting to make it more comfortable to be naked in front of children. Like, what does that have to do with being gay, lesbian, trans, uh, two-spirited, and all this other stuff? What does that got to do with sexuality? That is purely a fetish. It is purely a kink. That is purely you wanting to show off your body to show how free you are. And I am telling you right now, if you are the type of person who feels like you need to be naked in society to feel free, something is going on with you. 
because society is starting to make it seem like being naked and being okay is oh it's all right pornography is running through our cities man where people really think being naked is a source of freedom a way to rip away the chains but what you're really truly doing is putting yourself in more chains because you are bounding yourself binding yourself giving your soul away to this stuff whatever that may be well we know what it is but you know for the sake of this video you're giving your soul away okay you're giving your way to whatever society is making this stuff you're giving your body away to people who don't deserve to see your body you're giving away stuff freely to people who don't deserve to see that and porn has taught us that that everybody could just be sexual even though we know pornography is a criminal enterprise we know how much crime and death and and kidnappings and all kind of stuff minors and all kind of stuff that's in there we are trying to make it okay. And they are trying to use the LGBT as a source of it. LGBT went from just being about sexuality to being about literally just sex. In fact, one of the colors in the original rainbow flag was pink, which just meant sex. It just meant sex. I'm sorry, I'm seeing it, watch. Oh, is that a little, please God, no, no. Okay, that's an adult. Dude, here's the thing too that you don't know is you don't know who in this video. I'm sorry that's so loud to you guys. But it's absolutely, and most of these people are women. There's not a whole lot of men out here actually. There's women kissing naked in front of each other. Y'all can go see the video. I showed y'all where it's at. Y'all can go watch it for your, there is a guy out there. There is a male out there. It's mainly women just making out with each other. It's complete debauchery. <laughs> complete debauchery. Yeah. Okay. Now I can show you. I'm going to show you also the video of the little girl I was telling you about. Uh, I'm going to have to try to show this without. There's one woman in the back with her breast out. So we'll, we'll have to do it before it gets to that part. But I'll show you what I was talking about. This little girl and this woman right here, you see right here? This is a little, what, seven, eight-year-old little kid running to her mom, who is also naked and not wearing a bra. If you continue on in this video, you'll see this little girl run to her mother. It's disgusting. You see this woman right here making out with another woman? Like, what is this? What is this? What, like, what are we watching here? Like, what? I don't get it. I really don't get it anymore. And this is all from one account. Well, I've seen this on other people's account as well. Um, I'm trying to see if we can find that leather parade. Not sure where I saw it, but I've seen it somewhere. Um, let me see. I'll have to search for it. Give me five seconds. Y'all just keep thinking about what you just saw. And tell me if they're not going after your kids. Here it is. So this is a uh, part of kind of what the leather parade was. It's not it's, it's not the whole thing, but it's part of it. Oh, man, this this is insanity, guys. This is absolute insanity to me. I never look. This is part of it. These are the guys who are close to the uh, uh, parade. You see this individual right here shaking their breasts and everything and, and it, it, it continues on just like that let me say y'all another one this will show more people in this uh leather parade thing this is kind of what it was kind of like. You see people walking around in leather, buttless chaps. You see this guy right here with no butt hanging out. This is kind of what it was. We'll love our son, even if he's straight. Will you? I can't tell. Will you love your son, even if he's straight? You got literally got him at a private where he, in front of people with a butt cheeks hanging. Oh my goodness. This is... I'm pretty normally pretty 
mice about this stuff, but this pride parade is an absolute disgrace. I noticed this last year. I noticed this last year with the uh, pride parade, and I had said this. Um, last year when I was dealing, I was in Pride Month. I noticed it when I was because you know I watched basketball, right? I did the WNBA um, when the playoffs ended for the NBA, and I was I was heavily into uh, WNBA because it was the only thing going on. Um, my life was kind of spiraling down at the time because y'all know I had just I had just stopped using marijuana and everything. And so I was just trying to deal with life. And I, so I was watching a lot of WNBA just, um, just to keep my mind on sports because that was one of my ways to stay calm, right? So anyway, I'm watching the WNBA, and I noticed, like, every time I watched the game, every time I got on the Twitter, every time I tried to do anything with WNBA-related, it was pride, 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 pride logos, pride um, things at the uh, arena, pride stuff in the middle, pride commercials. I was like, dang, like I was so sick of it by the time Pride Month ended. I was like, oh, thank God. I was so sick of hearing about it, right? Uh, now that I'm seeing it more, and this time I paid attention this year, when I started really looking into the Pride Parade and all that kind of stuff, and I saw how people were getting naked, and this last year is when I noticed because I told you guys I saw that little kid dancing on a stripper pole and we had went over that video not too long ago or something similar to it. And that's when I was like, man, this is kind of weird. And that's when it all, that's when, that's when the pop, that's when the champagne got popped, the court came out and everything just started going everywhere. Then everything started coming out about the drag queens and people really just started pushing it. Obviously the people from the Daily Wire got it cracking. And then there was people like Gaze Against Groomers and then you got the people like In Wokeness and like I said, Ian, um, some people I don't uh, I don't agree with all these people I don't but right now our main we are coming together right now to protect the children and the more we continue to do that that's all I care about we can have the discussion about sexuality another day but right now we're here to protect the children and pride month is the worst month for children in my opinion it's the one month where they get a lot of indoctrination they show up into the schools you we already saw we already made a video a long time ago about the guy who was selling sex toys not selling he was showing sex toys in the classroom, right? We saw, we just went over a video not too long ago that was teaching little nine-year-olds how to touch themselves. Disgusting, right? We saw another thing where they were selling books where it was showing men and women, it was showing women with penises, men with breasts. It was just disgusting. And this was for kindergartners. Like, it's just absolutely insane. And to say it's not true, and I hate that they would even ever try to ban the word groomer and they haven't anymore because Twitter changed that. But the fact that they tried to get that out of here and then we saw what happened with Instagram when Instagram got blown out. I mean, got blown up because they uh, were had they had so much pedophilia going on in their content. There was so much um, grooming. There was so many, you know, children stuff going on on Instagram. And Instagram just turned a blind eye. But if you say somebody's, <laughs> but if you get on there and say something about be, somebody being fat, such as myself, right? If I get on there and say, man, this girl's kind of fat. Maybe she needs to lose some weight. Blocked, terminated, your your account's gone, you're suspended. But Lord knows how many minor sites there were, how many pictures and how many pages there were of children, little bitty children having conversations with grown men in the comment section. But yet we say something about somebody being obese. We say something about somebody saying, Hey, maybe we can call him. She instead of he, because he's actually, she's actually a girl up oh, suspended account gone, but they don't want to do anything to protect the children. Don't be fooled. People don't be fooled. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Oh, we got a lot. This is just a lot going on this month. But here's the thing, guys, and I want to say this before I end this. Don't let this end after Pride Month because that's when they go into the shadows. Right now, they're just out in full force, sun shining and everything. But when this Pride Month ends, oh, believe they're going to be in the shadows. And as they said in that video I made, or y'all saw on Twitter, if you're on Twitter, we're here, we're queer, we're coming for your children. Think about it.